offseason? Yeah, it just seemed like a good fit for me. Um, I know they had success a few years ago, so um, it's nice to be here in Bakersfield. And there's a lot of uh, older guys with experience. You know, the young guys are hungry as well. So um, with a shortened season here, we gotta we gotta get going out the gate. But um, you know, whatever happens with playoffs and stuff like that, we have a good team. We and uh, we could do some damage. How do you kind of uh, approach this extended offseason? I'm assuming it's the longest time you've been uh, without playing uh, competitively, uh, you know, in, in your career, even probably going back to when you were a kid. But uh, what does the, the last, you know, nine, ten months look like for yourself as you've, you know, kind of prepared for, for this upcoming season? Yeah, it's been a, it was a bit of an adjustment. Um, you know, you got to kind of um, change your workouts a bit. Uh, you can't be going for, you know, whatever it was, nine months hard training. So, um, my trainer back home put a good uh, program in place where it's uh, we got stuff done. Um, you know, we we worked uh, really hard for you know four solid months there before I came. I was skating a lot, so I feel pretty good. Um, but you know, just getting those systems, uh, the game like situations, it's it's good. We got a couple preseason games here to fine tune some things. A couple of days of practice. Uh, there, there's a core of, of, of forwards at, at least up front. What have you noticed as you kind of? acclimated yourself to, to the group and, and how you kind of you know fit yourself in, into this group here yeah it's a great group of guys um everybody seems to get along here so um yeah that's that's the one thing that's biggest with team success you everybody's got to get along and everybody seems to gel here there's a bunch of good guys so um you know, it just feels at home already hey Seth so along with that obviously this is a unique year um, a really quick training camp and preseason for you guys. How much more difficult is that to kind of bond with the team when you just dropped in and landed with these guys when chemistry obviously is a key thing that you're trying to build up during this time usually? Yeah, it could be a little tougher. Um, you know, in Edmonton camp, I got to know a good majority of the guys that were there. So that was nice. And um, I guess the nice thing about it is there's there's not a whole lot you can do away from the rink, right? So um, the guys get together, we'll go golfing and stuff like that. So that's a good, uh, good way to get to know each other. Um, and other than that, you know, just hanging out at the rink. Um, we're here a decent amount of the time, decent amount of the day getting to know each other. So, um, you know, like I said, also a good core uh, was here coming back. So, you know, once you get to know a few of them, you know, they kind of welcome you in. So, um, you know, like I said, the guys have been great and the coaching staff as well. Yeah, um, put you in the hot seat. How's your golf game and who already has the best golf game on this team? I haven't got a chance to see everybody. You know, I struggled. Uh, I struggled yesterday. I'm usually pretty good, but I struggled yesterday. But um, from what I've seen, Bugsy, he's got a big drive. Um, I think he golfs a lot. Espo golfs a lot. Um, you know, I guess the guys that have been around here, you know, they uh, they get to golf year round. So I mean, I, I got some work to do. <laughs> That's why it's going to be in Bakersfield. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Um, yeah, so that it's just been interesting. I've been talking to different athletes from the high school level, obviously, to you guys, professional level, college. I'm just curious for you with this time off that you had and just the uniqueness of this year. I don't know how much time literally you had off of the ice, but how did it change your perspective for maybe the love of your game during all of this? Yeah, you definitely learn to appreciate it a lot, a lot more, um, you know. There's no question about it. Guys like the time away from the rink in the summer, you know, it's a good, it's a good break, but you know, when you compact almost three or four summers into one, you know, being at home, guys get a little antsy. So I know for me, I, I enjoy being on the ice. I love playing the game of hockey. So, you know, being away for, for that long for me was tough. Um, you know, obviously it was nice to spend with family a little more time, but um, you know, you're not getting any younger here, right? So, you know, I, I love to be at the rink. I love uh, I love playing hockey every day. So it was definitely tough. But the nice thing about it is the rink's actually pretty good back home. Um, with letting us on, we got some local uh, pro and junior guys. So we were getting our skates and workouts in, but, um, you know, also staying safe. Yeah, and on top of um, just kind of getting prepared for this season, what are you looking forward to in a season where, again, I know you touched on it a bit, there's not – Right now, there's not any certainty of a postseason. I know that's what you guys play for, but obviously at this level as well, you're playing for development. So what are you looking at in this shortened season? Um, what do you hope to get out of it? I mean, just right off the bat, looking forward to getting on the ice and competing again. Uh, it's been a while, so, um, you know, we got to be ready right off the right over the gates here. Um, like you said, like you mentioned, we don't know what's going to happen with playoffs, but, you know, we want to be up there if need be. Um, you know, we, we want to be, you know, we're shooting for first in the league. I think that's what you do coming into every season. Um, 
and, you know, we'll go from there, but, you know, we, we got to be one of the top teams in our division and, you know, if there's no pl playoffs this year, so be it, we'll carry that momentum in the next season. But, um, you know, we, we, we're, we're looking to win every night. We're not going to take any nights off. Um, you know, and I'm sure for, for myself and, you know, everybody here, you know, if you want to call up, I know it's a, it's a, it's a bit of a unique year. We don't know how that's going to work, but you know, you're, you're, you're looking to make a good impression, um, for when that, that time does come. So everybody's got to be ready to go. <clears throat> Yeah. And last question for you, Seth, just, uh, I know it's, you haven't probably got to see a lot because of the year that we're in, but, um, whether you spent a lot of time around Bakersfield yet, or you have before, what are your impressions of Bakersfield in this area? Yeah, I haven't been out here much. Actually, the one game I did play a couple of years ago with Manitoba here, I, I got hurt. So I flew out the next day while the team stayed here. So I didn't have a great first experience here, but it's been better so far. Um, you know, obviously the weather, has uh, been a little weird lately. I, the guys say it doesn't rain much here and it seems like um, it's raining and it's not very nice out right now, but um, you know, I'm sure when the weather starts to come, guys will be golfing more, having fun, staying outside, keeping safe. But um, yeah, I'm looking for that nice weather to roll in.